Hi, today we will learn Dutch or Netherlands about hat. In the previous video, we already learned about the. In English, the and hat are the. And in Dutch or Netherlands, some words come with the, some words come with hat. And now we will learn uh, the general order or rules about words that use hat as the. Even though in the application, sometimes there are exception. It's like, yeah, in the general rules, we use the, but exception for this word, we have to use hat or yeah, in the general rules or order, we have to use hat, but exception for these words, we use the. It will, uh, in, in Netherlands or Dutch language, uh, often comes exception. Let's start it. Hat used for, is used for a language. Hat Netherlands. The Dutch had France, the French had doubts, the German language had spans, the Spanish had Russis, the Russian. Had Turks, the Turkish. Had is also used for metal, metals. Had goud, had goud, the gold. Had zilver, the silver. Had Bronze, the bronze, the iser. Sorry, why I say the iser? Had iser, the iron. I want to say had iser and then the iron. So it mix. Sorry, I will repeat. Had iser, the iron. Had style, the steel. Had messing, the brass. Had is also used for ism. Had liberalism, the liberalism in Dutch. Had liberalism. Liberalism. Had liberalism. Had communism. Had capitalism. Had socialism. Had idealism. Had Taoism. So everything comes with ism. Ism in Dutch is ism, 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 and they comes, they come with head, head liberalism, head communism. Yeah. And now, head also is used for words that uh, previously the words uh, are verbs but when we put the in front of the verbs it becomes noun as we can see dancing dancing is dancing dancing is verb it becomes noun when we put the dance, the dancing, 
had dancing. Dancing, dancing. Had dancing, the dancing. It becomes noun. Aten, eating. Verb. Had aten, the eating. Noun. Drinken, drinking. Verb. Had drinken, the drinking. Noun. Zwemmen, swimming. Verb. It becomes noun. Had zwemmen, the swimming. Now, these words, which have uh, two syllables, two syllables, syllables, yes. And it started with B or G, fair or fur, ont, B, G, fur, ont, two syllables and started the, or the first syllable is b, g, fer, or fer, ont. All started or use head. Head begin. The start. Head gebak. The cake. Head verkeer. The traffic. Had on bite the breakfast. This one also two syllables and started or the first syllable is b g fer on with had. Had belang the importance. Had gevoel the feeling. Had belang had gevoel. Het vertrek, the departure. Het ontwerp, the design. And now, this part. In Dutch, there are several words that come, so come with het and come with the, and you have to. Uh, think or remember about it. For example, like these words, when they come one or singular or single, they use head for these words. But when they become plural or more than one, they have to come with the. More than one or plural, always the. Singular or one can be head, can be the. But plural or more than one, always with the. And when they they are one, but uh, small in size, always with head. Let's start from here. Head house. The house. House always come comes with head one or singular head house the house if more than one or plural the housen to make from one or singular become plural we already uh, learned about it in the previous video so you can check about it later if you want to know how. Uh, it becomes different. The housing. The house is still one, but small. It can be one real house, but small, one little house. And can be also a toy house or a house toy for a little girl or a little boy. How should one and all small comes with 
had. No matter uh, when they were the in the big size or normal size, when they uh, become small, the size and singular or one always with head. Head house you the little house can be real house but small can be toy house or house toy head house you if the little houses little house but more than one or plural so little houses can be houses real houses but small or toy houses or houses toys Plural, no matter they are small, but plural or more than one, always come with the. Houses, little houses, the houses. Head mess, the knife. One, more than one, the mason. Plural, always, the. One little knife can be knife, real knife but small. Can be a toy knife or knife toy for like in the kitchen toy. Mesh up. And everything that's small and one or singular head. Head, mesh up. If more than one or plural, the meshes, even though little knives, even though little but more than one or plural, meshes, the meshes, all plural, the head wheel, the wheel, if more than one, wheels, the wheelen, the wheels, the wheelen. Small wheel or yeah, real wheel or toy wheel or wheel toy. One, head wheel two. And if more than one, little wheels, the wheel just. These words always come with the when they are one or singular. Bank. In Netherlands, bank has two meaning. One is bank, like bank in English. And also a sofa or couch for minimal or minimum two seater minimum two seaters two seats use bank it's like co uh, couch or sofa minimum two seaters the bank more than one or plural the bank plural always come with the if it's a real bank but small or small couch or small sofa the minimum two seat or two seaters and one one i mean one sofa or one bank or one uh, couch but small bank head bank more than one the bank is no matter they are small small bank small banks or small sofas small couch the bank is card the card more than one plural cards the cards the carton one card but small 
in size, small card, little card, head card, je. small cards, little cards, so it, the card is small, are small but more than one, or plural, the cards, plural, always the, even though small. Party always come with hat when it's one or singular. Party, faced. When you have to say the party, you have to say hat faced. Always comes with hat. Hat faced. Parties, more than one. The faced. Plural or more than one always come with the, the faced, one head faced. Little party, one little party, faced. The one little party or the little party, head faced. The little parties, the faces. Drawer always comes with the, the la, la is drawer, the la, one or singular, if more than one or plural or many, the laden or the lades. This is why it comes uh, two way because this word laden you can search it by Google. Uh, there's a word with this one also and has different meaning. So you can use this one and it's right and you can use this one it's right too but more into this one because this one has different meaning. And this one only mean the drawers. So this one are more often to be used because only it means the drawers. And this one has other meaning too. The drawers, the laden, or the lades. One small drawer or tiny drawer the tiny drawer or the little drawer had large also this one you have to repeat the A first this is like the exception that they have in Dutch or Netherlands so sometimes they have a general rule but always come exception in this case uh, if you don't at 1a there's other word with different meaning for that one so you can search about it also and for in this case you when you have to say the tiny drawer or the little drawer you have to say head la you have to add the a here because if one it's different head la and more than one, the latches, the little drawers, the tiny drawers, more than one or plural or many, latches, don't forget, and plural always the, the latches. Hi, today we will learn Indonesian language or Bahasa Indonesia about the, the real the that used in Indonesian language but considered as old fashioned or Shakespeare alike or just used for fabel, old literacy because this the which is Sang, which is C, is not uh, 
common use anymore for daily conversation or texting or chatting but this sang and si are still used in the magazine in the newspaper in the news in televis television or radio they still use these words but for daily conversation and uh, chatting or texting more use the form format of my last video you can check it uh, later the last video before this one it becomes this something or that something or something that has been told before yeah but you will still find this one in the uh, if you read or you watch the news in TV or you will find it yeah what's the difference of sang and si sang is used for respect respectness or honor and C is used for common or general or normal and sometimes C is used also for looking down and a bit of a bully or something like that if considered like that to look down yeah and there's several that comes like capital or uppercase or big letter in every single word initial whether you put it in the first or start sentence or in the middle or end of the sentence but there's also in the first sentence of course you put it in big letter or capital but in the middle and end of sentence it becomes small letter yeah the point is just about if if honor or respect it will come in big letter or capital or uppercase no matter you put it in the first and uh, in the beginning or in the center or the end of the sentence but if it's not for respect or it's not the object or it's not the name it will be in small letter initial if not in the first or in the start if not starting the sentence yeah. sang maha pencipta the great pencipta is creator cipta is create pen is prefix its prefix pe it means the one who does the verb after that so in this case the one who does the create creator it's prefix pe but it becomes pen because this one started with c becomes pencipta creator one word the great creator is for god is respect honor so always comes with big letter big letter big letter no matter you put in the sentence in the beginning in the center and in the middle or the last of your sentence put always in big letter for the initial sang pangeran pangeran is prince the prince pangeran is not pangeran it's pangeran that's why it's honor you put the big letter or capital oh sorry my microphone for no matter you put it in the beginning middle or last you always put big letter for every initial and now this 
and this animal in fable the animal becomes the actor of that fable or the story that's why in this case also always big letter in every initial no matter you put in the beginning or in the middle or the end of the sentence sang kodok the frog kodok sang kancil the mouse deer that one later and now this is about family member if the front of the sentence you put with big letter for initial but if in the middle of the sentence or the end of the sentence you put small letter for the initials or what is it it's not uppercase but small letter yeah the father sang ayah the little sibling little brother or little sister because in indonesia we just have the older or little uh, younger we don't have difference in sister or brother we just have older or younger so it can be sister or brother the little or the younger sibling sang adik the mother sang ibu the uncle in this case start the sentence big letter sang paman the older sibling can be older sister or older brother sang kakak the wife sang istri kakak is older sibling or older brother older sister and if we change this word with this one it becomes grandfather kakak older sibling kakek gr grandfather kakak kakek the grandfather sang kakek and sometimes in the story myth or story the uh, sky things it becomes the actor of the story like in the children book or in the old myth or so that's why we always put with a big capital or capital or big letter for every initial because they becomes the actor they becomes the object same like this case in fabel always uh, big capital or capital or big letter no matter you put in the first or begin sentence middle or end sentence sang bintang the star bintang star sang bulan the moon sang matahari the sun bulan moon matahari sun matahari is sun even though if this is one word but if you look mata is i hari is day this is i this is day but together one word it becomes sun matahari yeah and now sang harimau this is in the fabel or in the sentence that you want to put the lion harimau 
becomes the actor of the sentence or the actor of the fabel, you put always with big letter or capital. Sang Harimau, the lion. And this one, Sang Penari, the dancer. Sometimes there's sentence that put the dancer become the actor or the subject of the sentence or the object of the sentence. The, the dancer, Sang Penari, you put with big letter or capital for initial no matter you put in the beginning the middle or end of sentence yeah now we will learn about C that considered as uh, normal common or sometimes look down or a bit uh, bully or something like that I kind of don't like to say it it's just like teaching to bully or something like that but yeah Si pengirim, the sender. Si pengirim, the sender. This is from kirim, send. It all, kirim is send. And it has prefix pe, similar with this one, it's the person who does the verb after that, person who does the send, so it become sender, so pe is the er, but it change become peng, so it becomes uh, prefix pe, but becomes Peng. The sender. Si pembeli also, but this this is one word. This is also one word. Beli is buy. Prefix pe, same like this one, but this is started with b, so it becomes prefix uh, pem. The buyer. Si pembeli. One word. This is also jual, sell, prefix pe, because it started with J, it becomes pen, penjual, seller. The seller, si penjual. For this case, because this is not actor or not just to give a honor or something like that, it's not like subject or object that have to be honor in part of the sentence or uh, story, the main of the story or so. That's why we put small letter for initial. But if you put it in the first or the, in the beginning of the sentence, you put big capital big letter or capital for every single uh, initial of the word middle and small letter now and uh, this part is the a bit uh, bully or look down but it's used so i just want to say it here see gendut gendut is fat the fat Si gendut. I was called like this for years. Si gendut. And because this is the star or the actor or the actress of the story or or the sentence, that's why if you put it in the beginning and in the middle or in the end of the sentence, you always put with big letter or capital for every single. Um, Initial, because this is the actor or the star of the sentence. Si bodoh. Bodoh, stupid, or dumb. Si bodoh. The dumb, the stupid. 
or same dungu is not dungu it's dungu the ng here is like when you say ringing ringing si dungu the stupid the dumb but then uh don't worry sometimes uh we also have good way si pintar pintar is smart so we have the fat the stupid the dumb the stupid but we also have the the smart si pintar um or name but this is quite not polite how i say it it's like uh, my senior or like older family relative family member can call me si ira with my name si ira or can call my brother si ari but if the younger uh, family member or family relative and younger or um how to say it the maid or servant or like babysitter cannot call the let, let's say i have babysit i have babysitter or i have maid or i have housemaid or servant they cannot call me with my name because it's considered as not polite or the driver cannot call me with my name with C because it's not polite yeah. si ira si ari my teacher can call me si ira but it's it's also mean like not polite yeah this is considered as like a bit looking down or something like that yeah of course with big letter or capital because this is name and this one comes with this so capital or big letter uh now when you have to say the child si buah hati capital or big letter for initial but here if it's not starting the sentence or in the middle or end of the sentence you put with small letter the child buah fruit hati heart heart fruit of your heart si buah hati the child yeah. and sometimes in fabel also comes with si sang respect uh, honor uh, considered as really big grande high especially for this one the lion sang harimau but this one for a uh, common or normal or standard or even looking down also in fabel or story or sentence about animal the animal is the stars si kancil the mouse deer so mouse deer can be like here or can be like here just depends you look at the like this or you look this one or here si sapi the cow si kura kura the turtle and this one we put in repeat and we put stripe here repeat stripe but it doesn't mean it's more than one it doesn't mean it's plural or more than one uh, it's in indonesia you have when you have to say uh, turtle is kura kura it's not kura but you have to repeat it to say it turtle you have to say complete kura kura even though it's one kura kura turtle sometimes we and this one with big letter here or capital because uh the oh yeah sorry capital only here this one is small letter if you have repeat repeated uh 
word only the first one that comes with capital because this is the star of the fable or the star of the sentence we put a big letter capital no matter we put the word and and or in the middle yeah. and sometimes this can also becomes a, a bully one like if the person is big sometimes the person is called called as uh, the cow si sapi let's say ira si sapi ira the cow because i'm big or if someone is really slow it's like loading loading brain or something like that the slow one also sometimes being called si kura kura the turtle if i'm slow ira si kura kura ira the turtle and now uh, the dancer sang penari respect honor but if the dancer is just like yeah not respect it just common one or you just let's say this one is the really respect dancer or something like that well known and this one is the la 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 it's just like uh look lots of people can do that dancer like that it's not this one is the really like yeah like that so this one if in the middle or the end of the sentence you put with small letter in the initial but of course if started or begin the sentence put big letter for initials but interesting thing for dancer sometimes uh, honored or uh, for this one well known and this one is uh, la, 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 la. but for this one the painter pelukis lukis is paint pe the one who do the paint painter one word this is prefix pe pelukis painter uh, pelukis is considered as always being honored or in high respect or something like that that's why mostly pelukis the painter with big capital big letters or capital for initials no matter you put it in the beginning or end or middle of the sentence si pelukis the, sent, the painter and now this one we already talk about this one here and we already talk about this one here before change it become grandfather in the sentence when you have to say um yeah this one is a bit uh, honor or respect and this one is kind of like common common hey yeah, like that common common or look down so this one can be common or look down general or look down it comes with big letter here or capital initial start the sentence this one also big letter uh, for initials if considered as the star of the sentence or the object of the sentence but if the this one like the older brother or older sister or older sibling si kakak the older sibling is not considered as the star of the sentence not the object or yeah of course not the subject because it's not started the sentence if it's not start star of the sentence we put with small letter for the initial yeah, yeah. now i have a question how about president president use sang or si president use sang i will just here is whoa my microphone sorry
put in the first sentence or the middle or the end of the sentence big letter because it's polite honor or something like that president director also sang yeah. I just want to say about that that one uh, hope you understand thank you for watching have a nice day